All right, you saw the title. We have to break down GameStop stock and talk about what has been going on as the stock over the last week or two has started to move for the first time in a couple of months. Let's be honest here, guys. So I got my double espresso on deck. I'm ready to talk about GameStop. But first, guys, you got to hit the like button. You have to subscribe and get some free stocks for Moomoo if you want, of course. Uh, it's the best deal right now, in my opinion. Once you open up your account using that link down below and fund it with at least 100 bucks, you get five free stocks and a $30 cash reward. And once you fund your account with at least $1,000, you get 10 more stocks. And overall, your uninvested cash will earn up to 8.1% APY, which guys, I'm telling you, man, this deal, it's unbeatable. So check out the link down below or go to stasurfest.com slash moomoo. And with that being said, guys, cheers. Let's get right into the video. So GameStop, it's been a while. We haven't talked about it in a couple of weeks. And well, GameStop stock guys, it's been heating up. We hit 20 bucks a share, um, you know, about two weeks ago, not too long ago, maybe a little over two weeks ago. And now we're pushing $25 a share. We actually hit 2540 this past Friday, which means we were up at 1.25% pretty big move it seems like uh you know it's uh, it's coming back from the dead a little bit here if you will right guys uh after being pretty flat for months i mean you guys all remember at this point we had a lot of hype in may and june but ever since then the last four or five months it's been uh you know pretty quiet it's died down but we got some news that is sending the stock uh, you know, back to the mid 20s and arguably on the verge of breaking out. If you guys take a look here, if I zoom in a little bit, where has the stock peaked out at over the last couple of months, pretty much since the end of August? Well, right at twenty five dollars. And you'll notice where we're at now. Twenty five dollars. Right. So if we're able to get out of that point, guys, um, twenty five bucks here on GME. I'm thinking more momentum will build up. You know, 30 bucks is easily in the cards. 30 bucks is where we hit in the middle of July. So that could be a gap that fills. And what do we have right here, folks? Do you guys see it right here? This is a cup and handle. It's clear as day, man. Clear as day that we could be getting ready to break out here. We're already seeing the signs. We just have to wait for the full on breakout which is why I'm going to set my alert at $25. Let me do that now. Mark is at or above $25 per share. So keep your eyes on the cup and handle, the breakout above 25. If it happens, 30 bucks, boom, boom, boom. We could be going there pretty fast in my opinion. So why is GameStop starting to move? Well, it comes down to Roaring Kitty, Keith Gill. Yes, <laughs> Back to Keith Gill. It all comes back to Keith Gill, right? So in the end of October, this is not new news or anything. It's just that I haven't done a video on GameStop in a couple of weeks. So first time we're talking about it here on the channel, even though it's not new news, whatever. But about 10 days ago, we got news that Roaring Kitty, Keith Gill, he sold his entire stake in Chewy, which is the uh, popular pet retailer. He bought those shares, I think, in July or something. I forget exactly when they were. But, you know, he bought a bunch of shares. He he owned, I think, 7% of the company. And we got news, again, 10 days ago, based on a filing, he sold essentially everything, right? It looks like here uh, the filing came out not this past Tuesday. I think the Tuesday uh, before that, and we can see, uh, yeah, in July, the stock influencer unveiled a 6.6% stake in Chewy. So he bought a, a good ch uh, chunk, a big stake of the company. Um, and now, you know, he sold the entire thing, it looks like. And 
Of course, that's building up speculation now, like, oh, what's he doing with the proceeds? Is he going to go, you know, buy more GameStop, right? Because at one point we were like, wait a second, he 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 bought GameStop. Now all of a sudden he's buying Chewy, you know, w- what's going on here? But now he sold Chewy and it's like, okay, what's he doing with this money? Is it going into GameStop? That's what a lot of people are speculating And yeah, the stock, like I said, I showed you guys, it's up 25% since we got this news, pretty much. Um, And right now, GameStop is an $11 billion company, right? $11 billion company, although many people don't give a crap um, about their fundamentals. They don't care about the numbers. They're not looking at the company like that, but... I'm going to break down the numbers anyway, and we'll take a look at what Yahoo Finance has their short interest at right now, just out of curiosity. So market cap is $11 billion. P ratio is 177. Uh, We're not going to pay attention to that. That's insanely high, um, especially for a company that is actually shrinking. Last I checked, their revenue shrinking. Um, They're not very profitable to begin with, but yeah, there we go with that. Very high PE ratio. And I believe statistics tab has the uh, the share information. Uh, Let's see if I zoom in a little bit here. Uh, Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, you guys can see that. So Implied shares outstanding or shares uh, shares outstanding in general, 446 and a half million shares outstanding, 390 million uh, float. It looks like here uh, shares short 35 million. Uh, it's hard to believe that it looks like short percentage of float 9.6 percent here on Yahoo Finance uh, short percentage of shares outstanding about 8%. Do you guys believe those numbers? Are you buying those numbers? I don't know. Uh, probably not. Let's be honest here. The The short interest is probably higher than that. But here on Yahoo Finance, again, short percentage of float, 9.6%. Short percentage of shares outstanding, 8%. What do you guys think about that? Let me know down below in the comments. But either way, you know, whether you believe the numbers or not, it's still obvious that GameStop is a heavily shorted stock um, and people are in it, obviously not for the fundamentals, but for the fact that uh, for, for the, for the possibility that it squeezes that we go a lot higher uh, from where we are right now, which who knows it's uh, it is a possibility. Never say never. Like I say all the time with these meme stocks, Yes, they're very risky. Yes, I wouldn't bet a significant amount of money on them. Uh, but with that being said, you could make a good amount of money. And it, it, it could it could pop out of nowhere. Just when you think it's done, it's down for the count. It's been months that GameStop hasn't moved or AMC or any of these other ones. That's exactly when it could happen. It could see that big move again. And it's starting to heat up, like I said. Last, you know, last 10, 12 days, we've been heating up. We got the cup and handle now. We're approaching 25 bucks, multi-week resistance. I'm telling you, man, if we break out of there, uh, GME could fill this gap to 30. And then who knows? After 30, we'll see where it goes from there. Baby steps, guys, we'll cover, uh, you know, the charts as they unfold. So make sure to subscribe here on YouTube. You might as well smash that like button and join the email list where I'm sending you all my top three stocks every single Monday for free, completely free. Check it out in the description box down below. Check out the Patreon as well. If you guys want to see all my moves in the stock market, watch me build my real money portfolio. There's a discord as well. All of that is down below and you might as well get your free stocks from Moomoo up to 15 stocks once you deposit at least 100 bucks, you get five stocks and a $30 cash reward. Fund it with at least 1000 bucks, you get 10 more stocks, and your uninvested cash will earn up to 8.1%. Guys, check out the link down below or go to StockSurfest.com slash Moomoo, and I'll catch you in the next video.